A wise man once riddled that you would never understand the joys and pains of being a father until you become one. And then came Eden, a little paradise of my own. My daughter poured out of my wife's womb like an overflow of grace and blossomed my fertile heart into spring. I wasn't ready to gaze upon her big bright eyes. They were the first moons I saw up close in this dark world. I didn't know a newborn can arrive bellowing in so much beauty. Vitamin E soaked radiant melanin. Eden reminds me that we have African ancestors who didn't mind the sun's heat smoldering over their skin and for generations let it bake them into rich chocolate. I didn't know, I didn't know someone so small can turn my chest into a cathedral. The way my heart sings symphonies every time I walk in the door and she smiles at me like a warm sunrise greeting a chilled ocean in the morning. God, I can't help but to think that you knew what you were doing when you allowed me to unwrap this gift called fatherhood. In fact, I can still smell the day you became my father. It was in the wee hour of the morning. The clouds was the color of everything new. Dawn just began to yawn over the cusp of darkness to paint the sky with glorious light. Veils fell from my eyes and I saw you for the first time. I cried out to you, sort of like Eden did when she broke free from the warmth of the womb. You broke me free from my chains, grabbed me by the heart and slow danced me into salvation. And since then, you have embraced me as your child, cradled me in your will. Nurse me with the milk of Mark, Luke, and John until I was old enough to take part of the meat in a Roman's feast before you blessed me with this Hershey-skinned, honey-dipped, vibrant ball of laughter, perched smile of a child. I can fathom the significance of you fathering me. Sometimes I stare at Eden, sitting in a puddle of her own innocence, and I know my love for her is permanent ink a stubborn mountain no man can move. How much more than a God who chose to father me before time had a name, before the stars bloomed, beaming from the splendor of your speech and suspended that glow in the void of forever midnights. Eden didn't have to do anything but to be born for, you to, for me to love her fearlessly. Like I didn't have to do anything but to be born again for you to love me fearlessly. Thank you for your relentless pursuit of my elusive soul. Even when I was lost in sin without a whisper of where, I am only a microcosm of the Father, compared to your grandeur, you are teaching me what it means to love, like I have no other options but to die daily for my offspring, but you are Savior and Daddy. And I promise my children will see me mimic your parenting all the days of my breath. You are the standard Father I would never be, but I will always be yours. I will always be sun, tattooed on your palm in fresh ink. Even when I'm old, skin resembling aged grapes, wrinkled and raisined by the sun, hair a gray sky of wisdom, I will still be the young man you adopted in his room years ago. I looked my reflection in the eyes and asked him, will I ever be fit to father? Will my bones ever be gentle enough to nest and nurture a small body I help create. God, you answered that daunting question. Bless me. Eden, my growing garden girl, was the genesis of everything possible I can be as a father. God, you made it happen when you gave me her. So I give her back to you, praying that one day you will father her as well.